Oh, you got time, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, OJ. I'm sorry about that, man. I almost slept. Yeah, no problem. Can you put this bag up front with me? Sure. sure. Oh, I got yes, that. Oh. Hey, Kato, if you use the jacuzzi while I'm gone, then you make sure you turn it off, OK? Everything OK back there? Yeah. Could you turn the AC up a bit, though? It's kind of hot tonight. Come here. Come on, honey. Come on. Hey, are you lost, boy? Look Come at this. on. He's got blood all over his feet. Have a nice flight. Thank you. No parking. Where do you think he's going? I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. Definitely wants to take us someplace. We should just call the pound, honey. I mean, he's a valuable dog. Somebody's probably already reported him or something. Oh. I mean, what? What is it? What? Oh, my God. What? Oh, God, there's dead bodies. We're taking the truck. All right, I'll get it. Hey, Ron. Can you move us in? I'm the West End. You're tied up to the number three. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Folks, please stay. Don't be afraid, OK? Hello. Yes? Yes. What? What? I. Yeah, I'll... I'm coming back right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back right now. Inside, sir. Excuse me, man. No? I'm sorry. No, what, what are you doing? Sorry, sir. You can't go inside. But this is my house. What, what are you doing, man? Just a precaution, Mr. Simpson. Caution for what? What do you think I'm gonna do? Mr. White, you got it. Excuse me, sir. I'm Howard Weissman. Mr. Simpson, sir. I want to see my client right now. What is this? Did I miss something? Is Mr. Simpson under arrest? Hello, Howard. No, he is not under arrest. He's just I want those handcuffs off now. Sure thing. Listen, uh, would you mind coming down to Park Center with us? I know it's a hell of a time to discuss this. He's not capable of discussing anything. He's right. tired. He's, he's distraught. For God's sake, his ex-wife has just been murdered. No mind. Well, I do. But I want to answer the questions, Howard. I want to clear my name. You don't need to clear your name. Tell you what. Why don't we go downtown, and we'll talk about it there. If you don't want to answer any questions, we'll drive you home. Let's go. O.J. Simpson was in Chicago at a business meeting when authorities notified him that his ex-wife and young Ron Goldman had been brutally murdered. Police are saying tonight that O.J. is not... Can I get you gentlemen anything? Coffee, I thought we'd borrow the commanding officer's office. A lot more comfortable in those interview rooms downstairs. Do not do this, Juice. Just 
suffered an unbelievable joke. You haven't had a wink of sleep. Howard, what's just... the matter with going in there and telling these guys the truth? May I uh, talk to my client alone for a moment? Sure, sir. I wonder if he's going to talk to us. There's your answer. If you don't mind, uh, there's this formality to dispense with. Go right ahead. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have an attorney present during questioning. If you so desire and cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without charge before questioning. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Does this mean I'm under arrest? <laughs> No, of course not. Listen, uh, these things they are always kind of awkward. I just wanted to say uh, how sorry we are about your wife. Yes, really very sorry. Thank you. Oh, did you cut your finger or something? Uh, yes. How'd you do it? I'm not really sure. I, uh... I was really busy last night getting ready for my trip to Chicago. I think I did it then. Then I, I re-injured it in Chicago. You guys called me and told me about the coal hills. Got upset and smashed the glass. Stupid thing to do. It's perfectly natural. Shock like you've had? If you ask me, you're holding up phenomenally well. Well, uh, as you know, O.J., you mind if I call you that? And that's what everybody calls me. Better juice. Good. Well, I'm Phil, and this is Tom. How you doing? As you know, we've got two decedents. Your former wife, Nicole, and a young man named Ronald Goldman. They were killed with a knife. Now, I don't want to upset you, but it was a uh, pretty brutal murder. Somebody just couldn't stop himself. You and Nicole had a pretty intense relationship. Yes. Even after you divorced? That's right. Soulmate kind of thing? Yeah. Soulmate kind of thing. Thanks, Steve. Coming through. Hey, hey, Coming through. Hey, hey, hey. AC, can you tell me, AC? One twenty-fourth of a second. Yeah, that's going flat out. That's right. See, man comes up attacking. Juice gives him this little move. And in one twenty-fourth of a second, he's gone and out of there. Scientific fact. The secret to it is that you keep moving forward. You lose your momentum, boom, they got you. <laughs> hey, do you think I have an odd-shaped head? What's your name? Nicole. I'm serious, Nicole. When I went to training camp in Buffalo, they couldn't find a helmet big enough for my head, so they got to get one custom made. Is that right, Ace? <laughs> That's right. So you play football or something? Oh, <laughs> He's OJ Simpson. Does that mean I'm supposed to know who you are? Would you go out with a guy with an odd shaped head? I wouldn't go out with a guy who was married. Oh, well, that's a separate issue. Let's take one at a time. Your head's not so weird. Any problem with going out with a brother? Yeah, I'm in the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this shit is something else. You guys want another round? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Ah, uh, Nicole. Would you be interested in seeing me play? As in football? Yeah. As in football. Hey, so what do you think? Ah, you lost. You okay? I don't know, I'm just a little sore. Two days in the whirlpool and I'll be all right. Mr. Simpson, excuse me, um, I'm Kevin's mother.
This is Kevin, huh? Yes. All right. How's it going, my man? Fine. This right. is so good of you, Mr. Simpson. I, I hope you're not too tired or anything. Oh, just a little beat up. I got clotheslined in the first half. But I didn't want to miss a chance to get a good prospect. So, Kevin, they tell me you want to toss the football around a little bit. Yeah. Well, hey, let's get, let's get busy, huh? Nicole, could you hold this for me? Let's go. Come on. Come on. You play football, Kev? Until I got sick. What position? Quarterback. Quarterback? Oh. I can tell by that strong passing arm you got. <laughs> so who's your favorite player? Like you. Now you talk. Where'd you get that stutter stuff? Well, I guess I was born with it. Just like you were born with that strong passing arm. <laughs> I like Franco Harris, too. Franco can catch the ball, that's for sure. I think Namath's a showboat. <laughs> He's a nice guy, though. Really? Oh, yeah. You all right? Kevin, you know the difference between a linebacker and a rhinoceros? No, what? A rhinoceros is better looking. Come on. Stupid. That was nice of you. What? That boy at the stadium. It wouldn't be nice. You're from uh, Point Dana, right? Dana Point. How about the beach? I bet you love to surf, don't you? You know, you don't have to make conversation. Hey, you're married. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's almost over. <laughs> I don't think almost counts. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> now, you don't look like the kind of girl that's got to go by every rule in the book. Well, I am. You are? Mm-hmm. got a feeling about you, Nicole. About you and me. I got a feeling, too. Would you describe your divorce as amicable? Yeah. So you weren't even just a little bit pissed with her? Look, I came down here of my own free will to cooperate with you guys. Now, you keep making accusations, I'm gone. Nobody accused you of anything. Can, um, can you give me an idea of where you were about 10 o'clock last night, O.J.? Police are saying tonight that O.J. is not a suspect at this time. Dream on. Howard Weitzman, O.J.'s attorney, is... You've had a problem or two with your temper in the past, is that right? I went to counseling for that. Good. In 1989, you pled no contest to a charge of spousal Why battery. do you keep asking me these questions? Don't you guys understand how I'm feeling? My wife just got killed. We know. And this other guy. Ronald Goldman. Two people murdered. Now, I've told you I don't know anything about it. Now... I'm going to Nicole's parents' house to see my kids. Sure thing. Really appreciate this, O.J. Really above and beyond the call. It's nice of you folks to come. I really appreciate it. Excuse me. Come in, O.J. Hey, guys. It's good to see you. Man, hey, Juice. Hey, A.C. So where you guys been? AC took us to the video store. Oh, yeah? Well, what'd you get? Aladdin. Aladdin? Again. He's only seen it like 150 times already. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about Mommy? Oh, I heard, honey. You know, she loved you two very much, don't you? You went to heaven. I know. <sighs> Betty, though.
Citing his close personal relationship with O.J. Simpson and his many other professional commitments, Howard Weitzman today stepped aside as O.J. Simpson's attorney. Meanwhile, more speculation that Weitzman will be replaced by yet another well-known celebrity attorney, Robert Shapiro. This is the big time, O.J. This is the district attorney's make or break case. He lost Rodney King, he lost Menendez, he is not going to let this happen again. I want you to have one thing very clear in your mind. This isn't just a murder case, O.J. This is history. I'm an innocent man. There are no other suspects, O.J. This is all going to be about you. You think you're a public figure now? Wait a few weeks. The media, the district attorney's office. Everybody is going to be crawling through every corner of your life trying to find out who you are. So, we might as well get started, too. Who are you? You were a pretty tough kid, weren't you? Stay behind me, AC. Don't do anything till the fight starts. Where's that? What you guys need? Is he going to step on my foot, man? What's wrong with you? Go fight! No fight! Go fight! We did it, OJ. Cool. We did it. <laughs> hey, AC, man. Save some for the party, man. Oh, man. So, so OJ, you gonna help me out or what? What's your name again? Marguerite. <laughs> Marguerite, you're missing out, girl. <laughs> that AC Cowlings is a dynamo of love. <laughs> like that? Yeah, yeah, like that, man. <sighs> AC, why do you waste your time on girls who have to be talked into things? Life's too short, man. Besides, you only went out with her a few times. Like I said, you, you ain't seen her yet. She is worth the extra effort. <laughs> ah! It's a cop, man. Hold it! Hold! Right there! Right there. Don't run, man! What's your name, kid? Kurt Lancaster. Hey, you're the kid from Galileo High. Mike? Guess who we got? Mr. 90 yard touchdown. <laughs> it is not funny. I, I almost wet my pants. The guy asked him for his autograph. <laughs> it was like, no. Well, he still took you down to juvenile hall. You boys want to tell me what's so funny about that? What is so funny about stealing liquor? It was wine. It was for a party. You see, I'm on the refreshment committee. <laughs> <laughs> That's your father. You told him? He said he was going to come over and beat some sense into you. He's pretty good at that. Answer it. <coughs> O.J. Simpson? Yeah. What's the O.J. stand for? Lorento James. Lorento. I think I'd go by O.J. too. <laughs> you know who I am? Yeah, you Willie Mays. A friend of mine at Booker T. Washington said that I should meet you. You, uh, I'll go for a ride? Get in. Mr. Mays, please. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
about a candlestick. You can't predict it. Ball's up in the air, headed right for your glove, then all of a sudden the wind comes up and it's bouncing around like a ping pong ball. You have to be a damn aeronautical engineer to catch a ball in that stadium. Sit down. Want something to drink? Uh, orange juice. You gotta be kidding. Velma, OJ here would like some OJ. I'll have some, too. Yes, sir. So what do you want out of life, Oriental James? I don't know. I don't want to be somebody. I want to be known. I want people to say, hey, there's OJ. <laughs> I want this. My friend at Booker T. Washington says you're the greatest natural athlete he's ever seen. Thanks, Velma. You'll have everything you want. Big house, beautiful wife, special past to live like the white folks. No one will ever say no to you for one very simple reason. You can run fast with a football. I'd say that's a pretty good deal, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. In my opinion, going to jail would be a big waste of your time. Yeah? I'm OJ. AC asked me to come apologize for him. Apologize for him? Yeah, he didn't mean to stand you up. See, uh, there was his fight. He stood me up for a fight. You want to go for a walk? Yeah. Come and apologize to me himself. You see, AC has a little stutter. He thought I'd be a bit smoother. You are a bit smoother. Well, AC's a great football player. Oh, uh -huh. I, I saw the last game. Oh, yeah? What'd you think? Well, AC made the holes and you ran through them. I mean, you were the one everybody was watching. Well, that's just human nature. I mean, your eye naturally follows a guy carrying the ball. You want to go for a drive? Get out of here. This isn't your car. Actually, it belongs to this college recruiter I know. Mm. He lets me use it on special occasions. This is a special occasion? Get in. <laughs> oh, boy. It must be pretty nice having a car like this at your disposal. It is pretty nice. Mm. You know, AC didn't tell me you were so good looking. I guess maybe he thought I'd steal you away. <laughs> As if you could. How do you expect me to drive with you sitting way over there? Is that any better? Some. Would you mind if I kissed you? I certainly do. <laughs> All the nerve. <laughs> hey, see, don't get excited, man. We, we, were, we were just... Get out the car, man! Hey, see, I don't want to fight you, man. I said get out the car! Come on! Calm down a minute, all right? Yeah, AC, I'm sorry. Be quiet. Listen, man, let's go somewhere. Let's talk about it. Everything, man. You get everything. I get nothing. 
and it's not enough, but the little bit I get, you gotta take that too, huh? Wait, wait, take it away. You never had me to begin with. I decided... Be quiet. No, you know what? You be quiet. Look, man, I'm sorry, all right? What do you want me to do, huh? Why don't you give her back, man? Just give her back, all right? You see, I would. I would give her back, but I can't, man. There's something there between her and me. And we've been friends a long time. You gonna let something like this come between us? Hey, man, I owe you one. A quarter of a million dollars. That was good money back then. Buffalo wanted me pretty bad, I guess. And you married Marguerite. AC must not have been too happy about that. I tried to make it up to him. You've got a lot of friends, don't you? I suppose. Don't be modest. The whole country is your friend. You've been a hero to a lot of people for a long time, Juice. That hasn't changed. Remember that. You're still the same guy you were back then in Buffalo, the guy everybody wants to be. <laughs> I want you to meet the newest member of the Buffalo Bills. Number one draft choice. The best defensive lineman in pro football. The one, the only, the phenomenal Al Cowlings. <laughs> hey, Juice, here you are, man. Check this out. Hey, O.J.'s on medical center. He a chromocytoma? What's that, Doc? That's a tumor of the adrenal gland. Well, does that mean I won't be able to play this season? Not just this season, I'm afraid. What are you telling me, Doc? What I'm telling you is you're a sick man. If you think you can just walk out onto that football field right now, well, you can't. <laughs> not now, maybe not ever. <laughs> Watch out, Steve McQueen. <laughs> Give me a chance. I'm just a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. All right. I hate to say it, man. This team is rinky-dink. I mean, I'm a running back, right? I mean, I'm supposed to run. I'm used to carrying the ball 25, 30 times a game. So what am I doing on a passing offense? Hey, Juice, great party, man. Hey, cool. tell Marguerite thanks for me, all right? Sure will. All right. See you tomorrow in practice. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to turn that around. <laughs> we better. That's right. I don't have no quarter million dollar endorsement with Chevrolet. And I don't have no movie contract. It's because you're so ugly. <laughs> Hey, man, uh, what was that all about? Uh, special delivery. <laughs> hey. Thanks for getting me on the team, Juice. You were first-round draft choice. All I dared to do was just whisper in uh, Harv's ear, brother. That's all. Yeah. Oh, and who was this character? <laughs> this is Arnell. She can't sleep. I think she has an ear infection. Oh, uh, that is big girl got an ear infection? <laughs> come here, come here. Say hi yeah. to Uncle AC. Say hi yeah. to Uncle AC. Yeah. So, so how'd I do, baby? You were good. Oh, yeah? As mm -hmm. good as uh, Steve McQueen? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, give me some sugar. Yes, sir. I mean, you, I'll tell you what, you're gonna like it here in Buffalo. It's the birthplace of Millard Field Mo. <laughs> Millard who? You know, cornerback from the Giants. Stop it, OJ. He was a president. I knew that. <laughs> Of course, Marguerite, she loves Buffalo, too. She won't live here, but she loves it. Well, I might live here if he was ever home, but you're always on the road, and Arnell and I might as well stay in California. No, no, no. The point is, it's not how much I'm going. The point is, when I'm home, I want a home. Hey, I probably ought to head over to the no, hotel, No, no, man, you stick man. around, man. You know what you see, man? Man, I was surprised how easy acting came to me, man. 
What are these? I mean, I think actors and running backs are both the same kind of people. We both got big old egos. These are not mine. Did you open in my mail? OJ, whose are these? Hey, some fans. Look, baby, don't sweat it. Things come in the mail, all right? There's no stamp on this. Well, then there must be posters due then. No, 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 Hey, 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 stop. Wait, no, no, you're not going anywhere. You Let come right back. Me. No, come Let Look, baby, look, baby, dip. those panties were from some uh, anonymous donor, OK? Hey, see, we. Look at, look at that envelope, man, and see if there's a return address on there. <clears throat> no. See, hmm. I don't know her. I never met her. Look, the only woman in my life is sitting right here on the sofa right now. You, hey, listen to, listen to me. Will you listen to me? Let go, my uncle. Hey, uh, I'm going to head over to the hotel, all right? Hey, see me? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, brother. Was Give Nicole one of the pressures she couldn't handle? Here you go. Maybe. You needed Nicole, man. People change, you know? People need different things at different times in their lives. See, when a football player starts to come towards the end of his career, he gets kind of nervous. He needs people who have faith in him. The absence is our problem. There's no doubt about that. Wouldn't you say so, baby? A definite problem. Marguerite, how is O.J. as a father? Oh, he's a wonderful father. He loves his children. Arnell, Jason, keep an eye on Aaron now. Marguerite, do you ever worry that with all of the beautiful women that are seen at the football Excuse field... Me. I'll get some more dip. Would you like some more iced tea? No, thanks. You know, I heard a quote once. Let me uh, see if I can remember it. Fame is a vapor. Popularity is an accident. And money takes wings. The only thing that endures Character. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, Molly, please. Marguerite. Marguerite, what are you doing? Get back out there. You get back out there. Marguerite, you want to talk to both of us? Well, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes, the frequent absences are a problem. Yes, his little white blonde girlfriend that he parades with around for the whole world to see does create an unusual strain on his hey, don't you blame her for the strain on our marriage? Don't you blame me either. I wanted a home, but you wouldn't give me one. You never wanted a home. You wanted a house that you could breeze in and out of every few months. And if everything wasn't exactly the way you wanted it, you were terrified. Terrified? What the hell are you talking about terrified? OJ, when things aren't perfect, you are scared to death. Scared This is bull. This is too much. It's true, OJ. I know you. You don't know yourself. All you know is that you are the greatest human being to ever walk on the face of this earth because that is all anybody ever wanted to tell you. Didn't want to forget the dip. <laughs> this is off the record, right? just had $25,000 a plate? Don't act so shocked. I thought you'd like expensive things. Besides, it's for a worthy cause. $25,000 for one meal. 
Do you know what you could buy with that? What would you buy for that? Ferrari. <laughs> what color? <laughs> Are you serious? Mm. What is it? Uh, I took a hit today and practiced it. I was shaking it off a couple of years ago. I'm not hitting the holes like I used to either. Look, if I tell you something, you won't laugh, will you? I think I can win an Oscar. You're a great actor. You were great in Capricorn One. I'm, I'm no Dustin Hoffman. I know that, but uh, if I get the right part, I can win an Oscar. I bet that you will win an Oscar before I'm through with college. College? Uh-huh. I'm going back in the fall. That's not necessary. I mean, you don't have to go to college to be a photographer. Maybe not, but I want to. Oh, you want to? We'll talk about it later. What do you mean, we'll talk about it later? What's there to talk about? Marguerite and I are getting a divorce. This is not a casual relationship, Nicole. I've had those. I, I know how they feel. This is different. I know. I mean, this... This is it. I mean, we're each other's destiny. You realize that, don't you? Mm -hmm. So let's forget about college. I, I, I can hire a photographer to teach you whatever you need to know. I'll buy, I'll buy all the cameras and stuff you need. But let's just stay together. Excuse me, Doc. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I'm O.J. Simpson. I got a call about my daughter, Erin Simpson. Mr. Simpson, I'm Dr. Bernie. Let's step over here for a minute. Uh, no, no, Doc. Tell me, tell me right here. Tell me. Erin died, Mr. Simpson. I'm sorry she never came out of her coma. She was only underwater a very short time before your wife found her, but drowning can get her. She did it! She did it! What is it? I'm afraid to go to sleep. I'm afraid I'll dream about Aaron. Aaron. I can't stop thinking about her. All alone in that pool. Shh. There's no way to change any of that, OJ. You know why I wore a short sleeve jersey all these years? Even in the wintertime. Because I could feel the tacklers that way. Hairs on my arms are like cat whiskers. I'd be running along looking for daylight and I get that sensation. I couldn't see him. I couldn't hear him. But oh, I could feel him. Hairs on my arms are just a quivering. I can't feel things that way anymore. I can't. I don't know what's coming up on me, you know? Who's after me? Nobody's after you, OJ. Something is. Something's after me. Yeah, I think she's... 
All right. The murders took place, according to the police, at between 10.15 and 10.55. Where were you during that time? I was at home. Uh, we got to prove that. We I didn't do it! We got to prove you didn't do it. Why don't you leave me alone? Why don't you get out of here? Get out of here and leave me alone! Come here! Don't worry about them! You worry about yourself! Okay, take this. Anymore. You can shake these guys. Isn't that what you used to do for a living? Shaking guys off. I'm not going to tell you there aren't people out to get you, but you've got to put them out of your mind and do what you're good at. Run for daylight. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, no matter how fast you can run, no matter how far you can throw a football, you don't win an award like this on your own. Nicole, babe, my wonderful wife, you came into my life at what is probably the most difficult time for an athlete, at the end of my career. You made what should have been an ending into a beginning. So I just want to say to you, I love you, Nicole. You're my world. Did you make an appointment with Jose Bear? No, is there something wrong with my hair? No, you kid, your hair's incredible. Just that I saw this model and she had been to Jose Bears. What model? I don't know what model. The point is, her hair was fabulous. And she'd been to this guy's place, that's all. You fact yet? I haven't decided if I'm going. You haven't decided? Honey, I, I told the guy, I told the board of directors that you were going to be coming, and they got a suite for us. Well, well, there's this class that I'm taking. What class? Interior decorating. Interior decorating? What, what happened to photography? I don't know. I just, I got interested in interior decorating. Well, well Nicole, you're, uh, you're changing gears on me, your baby. You know, I, I thought it was photography. I don't understand, OJ. If I get interested in something... Oh, cool. All right. No problem. Just that, you know, it seems to me you can miss one class. I don't want to. I mean, it's not like they're gonna expel you. Where are you going? I told you, class. What are you gonna do, stop me? OJ, what are you doing? Stop it. OJ, stop. What are you doing? Please, why are you doing this? OJ, don't. Please, stop. Go ahead. Drive to class. Color scheme and the furniture and stuff. My color scheme? 
Yeah. <laughs> you know he ain't got no color scheme juice. Well, then you ought to think about redoing it, then. Redoing it? Yeah. Would you mind if I, uh, if I sent Nicole by there and let us, you know, see what she thinks and, you know, try a few ideas out and stuff? Yeah, no problem. She's into this, uh, redecorating phase. Yeah, she, yeah. Anyway, I, th I, I thought if I get a few clients for her, she wouldn't have to do it professionally and wouldn't be away from family too much, you know? I'll give you a good deal, too. But yeah, let me think about it. You know, I'm more in love with that woman every day. Can you explain that? Nah. Yeah. I'd be a basket case if she ever left me, man. Complete basket case, man. It says here, Nicole called 911 nine times between 1985 and 1993. So we had a few disagreements. No, I don't think the prosecution will think these incidents are little spats. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to say that. It's a perfectly good role. Look, I know it's not a fellow, Nicole. All right? It's a comedy. <laughs> Better be a comedy with a title like The Naked Gun. So what's the problem? No problem. If you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. Just... Just what? Never mind. What? <laughs> Just don't expect to win an Oscar for it. You don't believe in me? Is that what you're saying? Let's just go to bed, okay, OJ? Do you have any idea how hard it is for me to get the part you think I should be playing? I'm sorry. Look, I am sure that it'll be a very funny movie and it'll do all sorts of things for you as a comedy actor. Shut up! You shut up. I was just trying to apologize. He came on you, didn't he? Who? Who? The dentist at that party. He wasn't a dentist. He was a maxillofacial surgeon. You plan on doing it with him? Oh, you want to talk about fidelity? I don't think that's a can of worms that you want to open up right now. I ain't got no secrets from you. Oh, that's an interesting way of putting it. If it's not a secret, I suppose that makes it all right, huh? get out of my face. Does the same hold true for me? So if I want to go out and find myself a great-looking sir... Oh! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Stay in the at this time, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. You arrest? Hey, 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 look, wait, why are you making a big deal out of this, man? It's a family matter, officer. You got a family? Yes, sir, I do. All right, look, I, I, I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry about this, all right? Look, I, don't, I don't mean to get you guys involved in my personal problems, all right? Well, Nicole and I need, at this point in time, I think, you know, there's some counseling. 
Sir, I think that would be a very good idea. But I'm required under law to place you under arrest. Do you understand me? Uh, just let me go in and get you, get changed, don't you know, get dressed, put some clothes on. Just give me a minute, man, all right? Just get, get dressed. Okay, but hurry. Mr. Simpson, we'd like you to come down to the station. Take a few photographs. We'll have you home. Look, considering the fact that you resisted arrest, some people would say it's a slap on the wrist. $700 fine, 120 hours community service. Hell, you'd be. You're doing that anyway, some counseling. Counseling? How is that? Take the counseling very seriously, O.J. We don't want this happening again. No, it's not going to happen again. It can't. You want to bet? Why wouldn't it happen again? It's not like anybody's punishing you for it. It's not like a big, strong football player is going to jail for pounding his wife with his fist. Come on, O.J. You know what? Maybe you shouldn't even get a fine. Maybe you shouldn't even have to do community service. Maybe you should just give us all your autograph and call it even. I'm telling you, man, I spent so much time in the sand trap this weekend, I'm thinking about changing my name to a rental of Arabia. O.J., you know how proud we are to have you with the company. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate it. Your endorsement gives a company like ours a lot of exposure and more than that credibility. You're, you're a man the whole country looks up to. Yeah, legend of gold. So about that 911 thing. Let me explain that, all right? Nicole and I are both pretty strong-willed people. Mm -hmm. And that night, you know, I hate to admit it, but we both had a little bit too much to drink, more than we should have been. I mean, it's New Year's Eve and everything, but anyway, we have a little disagreement. It escalates into a shouting match. Uh, we start wrestling. The police come. Uh, they think it's best that we separate. So they take me into custody. You know, for a while. To be honest, uh, it was more my fault than it was hers. I I'd like to know where you stand with all this, legally. Oh, well, there was a small fine. Some community service, a little counseling, which I talked them into letting me do over the phone. I didn't want to miss any company meetings. Uh, look, if this in any way... No, no, of course not. I mean, because I don't want to embarrass you guys. Hey, I was just... Telling Ed here about our uh, wrestling match. Oh, you didn't. How embarrassing. Well, I guess you know all our little secrets now. Don't be silly. Really, it was blown way out of proportion. And OJ and I are still very happily married and very much in love. Fair, 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 Everybody loves O.J. Everybody looks up to him. And I've got this great life, you know? I mean, I have two beautiful kids, plenty of money, great house, great cars, great trips, great everything. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> How long has this been going on? A long time. Beating, kicking, screaming at you? Yes. Are you afraid? Nicole, are you afraid? Yes. Then you've got to get away from him immediately. Today. If I could just... 
Sometimes when he... He's so sweet to me. The man you're describing to me is not a sweetheart. You've got to get away from him. I can't. Why not? It's complicated. I... I love him. Try again, Nicole. I need him. For what? I'm ready for Maui. Aren't you? Remember last year when we were playing golf on that course and uh, the damn whale was jumping out of the water offshore? Yeah. Still. Is that better? Yeah. I want to take the kids on one of those uh, whale watching boats. You know? Other than that, you know, I don't want to make any plans. Just lay around the beach and... Will you stop telling for a minute? I'm going to divorce you, O.J. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. I love you, Nicole. Well, I'm afraid of you. Afraid of me? You don't have any reason in the world to be afraid of me. As long as I can believe you love me, no reason in the world. I'm not going to punish you over the kids. They need their father. You can see them any time that you want. But I want a fair settlement, and I'm going to get it. No, baby, no. I can't live without you. You know that. Oh, Nicole, no! Did you ever threaten her? I said a lot of things I didn't mean. You're married, right? Sure. Then you know how it is. Hey, Juice. What's the base? It's time to get ready, man. Oh. I'm going to go on ahead and make sure there's nobody there who doesn't belong. OK. You're going to be there with the kids, right? Oh. Right, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> See you later, Bob. Juice. I'll catch you with Jason. Okay. You should expect to be arrested, probably in a few days. I thought you were supposed to keep that from happening. We don't know everything they found, but it's a good bet they're feeling cocky enough to charge you. They can't put me in jail. They can't do that. You need to prepare yourself mentally. They can't do that to me. Not to me. Nice of Kardashian to let us stay here. Well, those good people, man. Yeah. Nobody knows we're here. Not the media, nobody. We can finally get some rest now. The place has got everything you need. I'm just gonna be down the hall, all right? Try to get some rest. All right. Hey, uh, you let me know as soon as Shapiro calls, okay? Yeah. Get out. I get some rest. Thank you, sir.
now for a professional opinion on some of O.J.'s potential legal troubles. We turn to our legal analyst, Professor Creighton Ford. Creighton, based on the evidence to date, what do you say, guilty or innocent? Uh, Ron, you ought to know better than to ask an old trial lawyer a question like that. Every piece of evidence we've seen increasingly points to just one suspect. O.J. was jealous of Nicole's involvement with other men and the physical evidence, a bloody glove that might be used against him. Did he do it? We can't answer that now, because the more we learn about O.J. Simpson, the more unknowable he becomes. <laughs> this is a rather narrow sofa. So? There's not a whole lot of wiggling room. How much wiggling do you plan on doing? What? <laughs> What's your name? Dan. Dan. O.J. Simpson. If you two want to be... Yeah, fine. You just you just have to go. Someone over here right away, please. What's the emergency? My ex-husband just broke in and now he's Okay, what's his name? OJ Simpson. Is he the sportscaster? Or yes, whatever? that's right. Has he threatened you? Well, I, I think you know his record. What are you doing in there, Nicole? You calling 911? Okay, wait a minute. We're sending police. The more the damn Marion. Maybe you can do them too! OJ, please, the kids, they're sleeping. Nicole. Send someone over here. He's ranting and raving. Okay, just stand ranting and raving? You hear that 911? Is that him in the background? Is he still yelling at you? Is that him? Nicole. Yes, he's still yelling. Okay. Please just... hurry. I'm the one whose wife turned into a hooker right in front of his eyes. Open this damn door. Is he Open threatening? Damn door. Do you think he's going to hit you, Nicole? Out too, Nicole. Open this damn door. Open the door. I, I don't know what he's going to do to me. Come in my house and disrespect me. Bring someone, somebody in my house. I work my ass off for this family. You don't have no respect for me. None! None! You ain't got no respect for me! I give all I got for this family! None! No respect! All right! Okay, bitch! I'm gonna go now! You hear me? 
You satisfied? All right. And when those cops come, I don't want no, no case file against me. You understand me? I don't want to hear nothing. Ron, over here. Okay. One cafe Americano grande. You do that so well. Have you ever thought of becoming a waiter? <laughs> so, um, what do you think? Are you going to go with me to the gate on Friday? See, now I know what you're thinking. If I go on a date with you, then maybe I'll let you drive my Ferrari again. Oh, come on, Nicole. That is only part of the attraction here. Well, I'm too old for you. Oh, come on. Did you hear me proposing marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about going dancing, right? No, 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 just stay there. I'll see you later. Come on. Hanging out with the guys, huh? Oh, stop it, OJ, OK? Just stop it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, look, look, look what I got you. Hmm? It's platinum. So, uh, what time is uh, Sydney's recital Sunday? Five. Is she excited? Yeah. Hey, hey why, why don't we go, uh, go all together? You know, I mean, we could go out and eat after that, huh? I'm already doing that with my family. Oh, hey, I'd love to see your family. It'd be nice. I don't want you to be there. I can't live with you anymore, OJ. I can't be around you anymore. I can't be afraid of you anymore. Whoa, Do you whoa. understand hey, that? Hey, 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 hold on. All right. So we had a few temporary setbacks, OK? But every marriage goes through. This isn't a marriage anymore, OJ. It's over. I'm giving you another chance. No! Have you ever heard that word in your entire life before, OJ? Well, I'm saying it to you now. You can't always have everything that you want. The answer is no. Hello, Terry. This is O.J. Simpson. That's right. Well, sort of famous, yeah. Listen, I uh, was going through this magazine the other day, and I came across your pictorial, and I couldn't keep my eyes off of it. Well, I, I know this is a little strange. <laughs> well, how do you think I feel? I'm calling up a total uh, complete stranger, you know? Well, I got your number from a friend of mine. Well, he's in the magazine business, yeah. Well, no, he will, he will remain nameless, OK? Well, anyway, I got, I got this crazy idea, all right? It's crazy, wild idea that I'd like to take you out to dinner. Seriously. You would? Oh, hey, I was thinking about tonight. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I should have known about this area code here. So how long do you plan on being in Texas? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, look, I, I, I got this crazy, I got this another crazy idea, okay? Check this out. Why don't you hop on a plane and come on out here now? Yeah, tonight. No, 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 I'm serious. No, no. Terry, look, look, I want you here tonight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm just going in. I feel like I'm stuck in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, midlife crisis could be. What do you know about midlife crisis, anyway?
That's Luna. Yeah, hi. Yeah, sure, he's right here. Ron. It's Nicole Simpson. Hi, Nicole. Well, if I bring them down, are you gonna let me drive your Ferrari again? A cappuccino. <laughs> You're so generous, Nicole. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. Bye. Have you seen a pair of glasses around here somewhere? Yeah. My good deed for the day. See you later. Night, Ron. OJ. Bob? I brought Dr. Fairstein, Dr. Heisinger with me. I'd like him to check you out, if you don't mind. Can we do it later? No. I want to do it now. I want to get a professional assessment. Assessment for what? They're going to arrest you. We've got a gentleman's agreement that you'll be allowed to turn yourself in as long as we can get you there by 11 o'clock this morning. What are they charging me with? I have the complaint here. So how soon do we have to leave? As soon as Dr. Fairstein and Dr. Heisinger have examined you. We don't want to be late. Can I have a minute? I want to write a letter. Sure. Alone. All I'm asking for is a little more time. The man's distraught. He wants to write letters, and I want to have him examined. Give me an hour, half an hour. All right. All right. If that's the way it has to be, I'll get him ready. Juice. Mr. Simpson, in agreement with his attorney, is scheduled to surrender himself this morning to the Los Angeles Police Department. Mr. Simpson has not appeared. The Los Angeles Police Department, right now, is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. The Los Angeles Police Department is also very unhappy with the activity surrounding his failure to surrender. This is really insane. What are we doing? Just keep driving. You OK back there? Yeah. You want to talk about it? No. Playoffs are on. You want to listen to the playoffs? OJ, wherever you are, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your children, surrender immediately. District Attorney Garcetti, I want to say something to the entire community. If you in any way are assisting Mr. Simpson in avoiding justice, you are committing a felony. Think about it. I guarantee you, there is evidence that you have assisted Mr. Simpson in any way to avoid arrest, 
Why don't you let me take you home, Juice? They're gonna be police everywhere, man. There's an APB out on you. Turn the car around. Why don't you just let me take you someplace where you can just cool out? Turn the damn car around! Oh, man. Why you gotta do that? Nicole and I had a good life together. All this press talk about a rocky relationship was no more than what every long-term relationship experiences. I want to send my love and thanks to all my friends. I'm sorry I can't name every one of you, especially AC, man. Thanks for being in my life. That was an excerpt from the note left by O.J. Simpson. So, the juice is on the loose. The man who was a football legend for his ability to evade pursuit is now evading it once again. His whereabouts at this point... You're making things pretty difficult for me, man. Let me do it. I want to be with Nicole. Man, put the gun down, all right? Think about your kids. Think about your friends, man. Feel that wind? I'm glad I met you, son. Thanks. It's nice to have faith in the next generation. Kind of makes you feel like... I don't know. Stop me if this starts to sound like a lecture, okay? Okay. I heard this statement once. Fame is a vapor. Popularity is an accident. And money takes wings. The only thing that endures is character. I want to go home. Is that that? Is that it? I don't know. Chris, it's him. It's him. It's OJ and the other guy. Hey, we just saw OJ. Yeah, he's on the five, going north. Yes, I'm sure. Police shop, I'm gonna do it, AC. I'm gonna do it this time. You turn the back off. This is AC. AC Collins, you idiot. You know who I am. They got O.J. in the car with me. He's still alive. Now, we're coming up to five. All we're trying to do is get back to his house. Look, man, they're going to clear the way for us, man. I'm going to get you home, all right? search for evidence continues even as the juice makes his bizarre journey down the freeway. Police have acknowledged that blood samples were recovered from the upholstery of O.J.'s car and that clothing and shoes seized from his home are being examined to see if they can be used to place him at the crime scene. And now let's go to the phones. Frank from Costa Mesa, you're on the air. 
Uh, yeah, I just want to say we uh, love you, Juice. Uh, don't do anything stupid, my man. Okay. Kim, from Mission Hills. OJ, I'm asking you in God's name to give yourself up to the police. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. If you're guilty, God's love will yeah, save you. Yeah, see here. Thank you, Kim. Go ahead, Bob, in Silver Lake. My son has these O.J. Simpson trading cars. I was wondering if they're worth anything. Juice, it's for you, man. To uh, answer that, Bob, Arthur and Hollywood Hills, you're on the air. This man from Yeah, O.J. Through a banana. Yeah. You feeling okay out there? I don't know. One of those days, huh? Yeah, it's one of those days. I'm on my way over to your house. Uh, am I going to see you there? But I didn't kill anyone. We can talk about that later, OK? All the time in the world. I'm watching it on TV. It's something, isn't it? Yeah, it's something. All right, now, you should see them entering your frame now. The lights are flashing, and he is making a left-hand turn. Uh, let's see. We're seeing the street jam with media, police, onlookers, waving signs, and cheering as the Bronco approaches the side street leading to the driveway of his friend Foot Mansion. So it looks like this will come to an end right here on the grounds of his estate. Now, the police are attempting to clear a path for the Bronco to enter the driveway at this time. I think uh, we have a there it comes. It's coming up the driveway. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they're blocking off the street. The white Bronco is now coming. Yes, it's come to a stop. The entire house is surrounded by Los Angeles police SWAT team. Uh, I can see the boys on the roof. No one has uh, yet emerged from the car. Well, as you can see, O.J. Simpson has finally come home. Hold on, all right? Just, just stay calm. Could you please tell these people to get out of the way? You're the one who is in the way, AC. Now, come on in the house. We want to talk to OJ. This man has a gun to his head. We understand that. You're not helping, AC. You think you are, but you're not. What do you know about it? He's my best friend, damn it. Listen to me, man. I'm gonna go inside now. They say I'm in the way out here. Come inside with me. This is me. Yeah. This is who I am. Isn't it? Yeah, Juice. That's who you are. You promise? Promise. You're a stand-up guy. That's all it's about. It's about some other dude, all right? Some other guy. I'm losing ground, AC. Some momentum, man. You've been losing momentum for a long time, Juice. You just didn't realize it because nobody wanted to stop cheering. And do me a favor and talk to these guys.
Hello. It's getting late, OJ. We'd like to wrap this up. You hear me? He's not holding a gun. That's a picture of his family. No one's gonna hurt you, OJ. Relax. Come on, OJ. Come on, you're doing fine. Everything's cool. That's it. Come on. Walk over here. Too. I love you. You're my world. Sorry to put you guys through all this trouble. Hey, man, no problem. 